Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Squawk, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Squawk, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, loud, and always and forever in color from the Queen's Supreme Court. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need you to get those drinks together, get your seats, and honey, get ready, because these shows are ones for the books. You already know how it goes, girl. You about to go to trial. Ah, <laughs> the Queen's Supreme Court starts now. Charles, we live. Is you live? Wait a minute, I can't. Oh, Greg, you make sure this thing don't be going all out. Crap. Oh! <laughs> 
together, bitch. I couldn't uh, even get the drink together. Yes, so, honey. I got to pull up. Ooh. Just a split. Bitch, I'm bad. I'm shy. Bitch, I'm bad. I got to. Fuck. Bitch, I was going to say that again, but fuck that. I'm tired. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, Kelly, what you going to do, Kelly? I'm going to do it from the sitting right here. You going to do it from the sitting right there? Ooh. Coming down. Oh, no foundation on this. Oh, that's natural. That's natural. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Kelly Love, can you take up, can you bring us in with some? Where you at? What you mean? Where am I? Uh, the Queen. The Queen Supreme Court. Yeah. Review. Hallelujah! Hey. Yeah. I want to say hello to Sugarfoot and to the Duchess Disciples out there, bitch. Y'all know. We did it, I did it, and I'm here. You're here now, bitch, so what's up? All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's show is sponsored by our very favorite and esteemed place that we get our old nasty, evil crabs and crawfish and all that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, Skeeter Spoiling Pots, honey. Production, do we have any footage from Skeeter Spoiling Pots? Atlanta, it's true. Skeeter's boiling pots is here. The original pop up boiler. Oh, yeah, we don't serve no babies either. These grown man crab legs in here. New Orleans original, authentic boiled seafood. Follow us on social media at Skeeter's BP. Or you can find us at SkeetersBoilingPots.com. Schedule your next pop up event. We got you. Pull up to you and get you right. Skeeter's. You won't get that nowhere else. Woo, might bite you. Oh my God, ooh, Skeeters. Listen, you been gone for Skeeters. a while. Hey, I'm What's back, it? I'm back. Ooh, Skeeters back with our sickening, old, evil, ratchet, 
sickening crab. Oh, don't ooh, fall ooh. down now, Skeeter. Oh, don't oh, fall oh, down. Okay. We got a new sauce. What's this new that's sauce that you need? It got a special no. sauce. Is that is that Nola sauce? No, no, Nola, Nola sauce. Nola sauce. My niece Queen. That's my secret recipe. Hi, Queen. Hey. hey. You dip everything in. You dip everything in. Everything in. Listen, if I wanted to dip a man's hey. finger in it, could I dip it and suck it off his finger? <laughs> dip him. It's shit. Dip so Tell us about where are you actually really located. I like your, your new commercial and stuff that you got over there. I, I like that. We are a mobile ball seafood company, and we now have what we call Lunch with Skeeters, to where you can call in. We do lunch specials every Tuesday. This week, it will be Wednesday. You will call or text 404-514-4895. Place your order here in Atlanta, and once your order is confirmed, we will give you the address for the pickup location, and you can come swing by and pick up your order and we're also a catering company we're the only company we'll pull up to you and ball on the spot pull up no matter where you are we're the original pop-up ballers yes god you book us <laughs> we will pull up to you and ball on the spot yes, on god. the motherfucking spot on the spot shit you pulled up i here with the boiling in the backyard all right. hey backyard had my whole yard, backyard everywhere. had my whole backyard smelling like women's women's women <laughs> 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 New Orleans Authentic Bar Seafood. SkeetersBallingPots.com. All right. Skeeters BP on Instagram. Follow us. Let us know where you at. We will come to your city and show out. All right. Thank you, Skeeters. Thank we will, you, be, we will be enjoying this on the episode. Oh, of course, of course. Thank you. I love Thank you. I love you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank love you baby. Thank you very love much. You. We'll be enjoying this on the after show. Oh, yeah. Kelly, you started. I did have, yeah, I did have one little piece. I had to tear that fucking. I, the, the shrimp had eyeballs. Oh, listen. So I had to tear it all off. Well, Craig showed me how to tear the shit off. And then I dipped it in the Dolan's um, sauce, and it was really damn good. All right. Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, since we done got all the formalities out of the way, let's move right along to our court ledger. First up on the court ledger to this evening is Aretha's entire funeral. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the queen of soul. Wait, we going to sit here and talk for eight hours? We ain't talking for no eight hours. Oh, okay. We're going to sum this up. Oh, okay, we'll break it down. The okay. Queen of Soul was laid to rest. Was it yesterday, day before yesterday? It was on Friday. Is she it was Friday? Friday. Friday. The Queen of Soul was laid to rest Friday, child, Are honey. Are you sure? Child, she, listen, they, she, had, <laughs> she had six outfit changes, girl, honey. They buried it in the wall, pulled out, then took her somewhere else and buried her there. Well, they have to stick her back in the freezer, take her out for a little bit, just a taste. But listen, in the midst of all that, what had had happened was, now listen, let me not, I'm not going to shade her all the way, because she's, she's not a girl that you need to shade. She's Detroit's finest. Yes. And not only is she Detroit's finest, honey, she is the queen of soul, and she deserved to have a three-day funeral, even though she <laughs> passed two weeks ago. True. She did deserve to have a three-day funeral. True. Now, we do know that Patty was really... Not there because she had prior engagements and things of that nature. However, there were people with, with voices that, sisters with voices, that stood in mm -hmm. on the whole Aretha's home going. Mm -hmm. First up on the docket, we have Faith Hill. Why? Singing What a Friend. Why? We have In Jesus. Yeah. Come on. And that's all I know because that's all she gave me. Ooh. I didn't feel it. You didn't feel that? No. Did you just feel what I just did? Can you do it again? <laughs> Let me feel it. What's the words? What a friend I got in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh. in my humble cry. Oh, no, no. Oh, sorry. No. Sorry, sweets. Uh, Obviously, I'm you're singing in Faith Hill's version because... <laughs> 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 Faith Hill, we're sentencing you to your own... Uh, no, I'm not going to do that because we still need her here. Mm -hmm. What do we need her? Huh? Where do we need her? Where do we need Faith Hill? We need her here on Earth. Who's Faith Hill? Uh, see, exactly. Who, they, somebody said, who is Faith Hill? Well, I, the program got put together by the niece of uh, Rita's. The one that said Patty should be there? Oh, that, oh okay. All Faith right, Hill, we don't know what we're going to do. Go with back Faith. over the hill, girl. You got to go. <laughs> she got to go? She got to go. Faith Hill, you're being quarantined um, <laughs> from all fumes. Mm -hmm. You are no longer invited to any fumes. Or at least she could just slow it down. Don't sing the whole song and look back at the choir and get, you know, directions from them and shit. Just, you know, just sing a couple of notes and then, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Good night. Thanks. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to move on from Faith Hill to the most important situation of the fume. 
And mm. that was the dress. Ariana Grande's. We just got to put Ari Ariana Grande's. You on the docket, and we are, we're we're prosecuting and defending you at the same time. <laughs> okay. So let me come on up here and bring you up on the charges. Ariana Grande's, you're being charged with bringing a whole straw dress mm -hmm. <laughs> to the Queen of Souls funeral. Mm -hmm. You're also being charged with coming to a funeral soliciting. Old men? Pussy. Older men? You're being charged with prostitution in uh, Great <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Is home. there anybody here in, in that can plead the case for Ariana's before we start we start trying? No. All right, please show us the footage that we're going to be trying in reference to her dress. You know, in her dress, the, no, that one right there. Yes, her Ooh. dress. It's, uh, on air, online, watching from perhaps all around the world. You are watching the scene in Northwest Detroit, where Ariana Grande right now arriving at Greater Grace Temple, one of the many luminaries who've come to pay tribute to Aretha. Um, some others, I think, go a little too far in terms of, um, of um, their dress. Uh, I really would like to see them lower their skirts some, personally. Uh, nobody really wants to see what they had for breakfast. Yeah. You see where my where my dress is? All right now. Okay. If you want <laughs> if you, you want to see the rest, you got to pass the test. <laughs> Listen, Rita yes. said. Rita said she was not here for any of the situation. None of it. That came from the Queen of Soul herself, from beyond the Great Wall of China. Mm -hmm. And um, let me let you girls know something, honey. Okay, I got two words for that dress. I got two words. Uh, whole stroll. I got two words for that dress. Uh, solicitation. I got two <laughs> words for that dress. Oh, no, ma'am. Uh, I got two words for that dress. Bitch, you tried it. I got two words for that dress. Girl, come again. I got two more words for that dress. Slap no. your mama, bitch. No, you did. I got two last words for that dress. Prostitution. Selling pussy. So anyway, <laughs> what we're going to do here right now in the name of all the names that can be spoken, we are going to sentence Ariana dress, uh, excuse me, Ariana Grande's. Uh, and that ponytail. Ooh. I was okay with the ponytail. I like the ponytail. Ponytail was fine. It was that dress. Yeah, the damn so ponytail weird. was longer than her goddamn body. I was like, just too much. But it was longer than the dress. Well, okay, okay. So what yes. we're gonna do? Okay. We're gonna go ahead on, and we're going to contact Fashion Nova. Oh. The dresses that always that I'm in right now, the Fashion yes, Nova piece. God. And also, we're going to contact Fashion Nova, honey. You know, because they dress Cardi B. They dress, you know, the girls. We're gonna get her a long pencil dress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of like will go with her ass, you know, the pencil dress. Yeah, <laughs> and the legs, the, the the ass, the hair, the ponytail. The ponytail I was okay with, oh, but we I'm need, we need, okay we need, uh, sis, we need you to be kivered up. If you attend anyone's film, you needs to be kivered up. <laughs> yes, you bitch. Do they go like that, do it like, like Catholic churches and shit she like that? She never been to a film. She ain't never been to a few, uh, uh, especially really? a home going like that. Now, listen. Not a Baptist. For a legend. Oh, Baptist, okay. I'd like to say this too. Now, there were things that happened to uh, Ariana Grande's while she was there. She was a likened. Uh, she was likened to a menu. Oh, right. Before we get there, she was likened to a menu from Taco Bell's. They had added her to the menu on Taco Bell's. And she was groped, fondled, mm -hmm. <laughs> turched, yes. molested, yes. Yes. peeled, uh -huh. sauteed, and uh -huh. fried <laughs> by the same deacon. Uh -huh. She wore that whole dress. Uh -huh. The shady deacon. Now, let's be clear here. Just because a woman wears a short dress does not give a man the right to, to stick his fingers, right. toes, and elbows on her ass, titties, or clitoris. It does right. not give him the right That's to do right. that. Right. However, Ariana Grande, I don't know how many peoples you come in contact, how many black men mm. you really come in contact <laughs> with, but it's just something about a short dress that'll cause a man to reach, wretch for something. Mm. And especially if you ain't never been to a black church, in a black church, them short dresses causes for the deacons, oh, yeah. the pastors, and the bishops to oh, wretch yeah. out for something. Oh, yeah. Now, do you think he <laughs> was really grace. filling her up? Oh, now, yes. to be honest with you, yes, I do yes, feel no. like he was filling her up. See, I think he's used to big women. No. I think he's 
use the big women. So when he reached no. around her to come touch, on. You, no. you know, like this, you come know, on, come on. voluptuous, no. lovely woman. Come when on, he reached on. around to touch, <laughs> see, normally they little skinny. I mean, they little skinny. They big women in the church, but she a little skinny thing. So he lost his way, and then next thing you know, he was underneath it like that. I'm saying, what you do? He, yeah. Yeah. What you do? But okay, he what you do? Do that again. Find me. Do that again. Go do it again. Wrap around me. Okay. Cause Ariana's trying to play it off. The woman okay. was crying out for help. She, she was uncomfortable. Wait a minute. Can you see the hand over she here? Said, okay. She said, what'd you do? He said, go over here, man. What'd you do? Get over here, man. Get your ass over here. What'd you, what'd you do? Ooh, I want some of that taco. What'd you yeah. do? What'd you, what'd you do? Oh, oh, I mean, that could have happened. Because that's what I was waiting to happen. Oh. You know, up there. But Rethus would have rose up. Rethus would have got up. <laughs> Rethus would have rose up from there. Can we play the footage so we don't have to do that much reenactment? <laughs> I've got to apologize because I have to brush up my 28 year old daughter tells me, Dad, you are old at 60. When I saw Ariana Grande on the program, I thought that was a new something at Taco Bell. Girl, let me give you all your respect. <laughs> Did y'all enjoy this icon? She's an icon herself. Come on, make. <laughs> What'd you do? He was right underneath the cuffs what? of the of the tent. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do, bitch? You know what he was doing? He was running his, his nasty, filthy, unsaved, unclean, unliving hands up under your bra strap. Oh. Castle. The pastor did issue an apology and a statement out, yeah. stating that he did not. He was sorry for all of the things or whatever. You know, I didn't buy none of it because these black pastors been getting away with the rubbing, rubbing women's ass cracks I don't and stuff like this and taking their ties and offers and stuff like that. I don't, I didn't buy none of that. If he wasn't really guilty of doing it, he shouldn't have made apology. That's how I feel. Everybody in the world saw it, Kelly. I know, but I, like I said, I think he was just so used to big women and shit like that, her little small ass. But if he that. didn't, wasn't trying to do it intentionally, he shouldn't have made a damn apology. And then also, you know, his hands were moving. You know, they were like moving around and shit Cause like Because he, he was trying to get up under that bra strap. Trying to find a strap? He was trying to go up okay. under, you know, these some big ass titties, okay? Her Victoria strap. He was trying to get Victoria to spill her secret. Oh, oh, oh. But she had walked in the door telling everybody that she ain't had oh, no oh, oh. <laughs> And I didn't like the way she sounded, actually. You know, she was whispering. I was like, girl, do you over here? Listen, you supposed to be the new Supreme Mariah and Mariah getting her voice back, girl. It wasn't her sound system. Uh-huh, come on. No, it was a little prayer. What song was? See, I'm looking at the shit already. Right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Just like that. Until I met Until the day Lord. Until I met this bishop. Uh, oh, my God. God. Listen. And he put his hands on my titty. Oh. <laughs> oh, it felt so nice. Ooh, it made me want to think twice. Because he made me feel like a natural no, she wants to say, because he made me feel like a nacho who's Bill Grande. Ah! <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So, listen, uh, Ariana Grande, we're sentencing you to uh, we're Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova, okay. and we're also banishing you from all fumes for the rest of your life except your own. <laughs> yep, all right. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Moving right along. The Clock Sisters. You, okay, break it down, Kelly. Okay, you, Clark Sisters. Love, 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 love the Clark Sisters. Is Legend. that Dottie Peoples? Where? No. Uh, no. Girl. That's not Dottie. She is oh, painted yes, like Dottie. Dottie. That ain't Dottie Peoples? Mm -mm, that's Dottie Dorinda. Yeah. That's Dorinda? Yes, baby. That's she, she's giving you Halloween mass realness. <laughs> <laughs> baby, she is painted <laughs> for <laughs> the goblins, baby. <laughs> she is painted. <laughs> But she can still say. Now they did they little thing, and I love Karen, and I love Dorinda, and they actually it must have been for Aretha because they actually let Jackie sing something. Who is Jackie? Exactly. Oh, nobody don't know who Jackie. Jackie don't. She's just big in the back with the. She's a very deep baritone. She's a baritone. Yes, honey. You know she's she's got female parts, but she has a baritone voice. Like me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, but so, sound of fool. Then they got Twinkie. You know, she playing and Twinkie can see her face off, but they got Twinkie in the parking lot playing the organ. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, why do y'all have Twinkie in the parking lot playing the damn organ? 
in one of the damn pink hearts mm-hmm. out there playing. So then her mic goes out. They should have had a camera out there. Mm-hmm. Karen claims that her mic went out, but she couldn't do her. She does an echo thing like, ah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mic went out. So she said, no, her voice was going out. And they were just screeching. So they was doing a production and not, you know, they was performing and not for the Queen of Soul. So they was just, you know, getting their check and they was gone. Okay. Okay, next. So let's move on to Yolanda Adams. Okay. I'm going here for it. What is the background for Paul? Oh, Yolanda Adams. Okay, so. (laughs) (laughs) Yolanda Adams. Okay, I love Yolanda Adams. Now she was singing with, what you say? Paul Morton. Oh, no, I thought somebody was trying to correct how I was saying Yolanda. You know how y'all was trying to correct me about saying Tawatha. But we'll get to that. Okay. Okay, so you Miss Yolanda Adams. Okay, so she sang a song with um, Paul Morton. I don't know what the damn song was, but it was a gospel song. It was cute. It got the people up on their feet, mm-hmm. finally. Okay. But she was more of a background singer with the song, and he was leading the song. And I thought that she should have started off the song, and yeah. he could have did the ad libs with the song or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I was there for seven hours. I've watched all this shit, and I know what the hell I'm talking about. So, But you wasn't here for Yolanda. Oh, I, I'm here for Yolanda. But, but not for that. Not for that. I think she should have led the song and not him. Okay. All right. So let's move on to Jennifer Hudson and Fantasia's performance. You can have it. Sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Screaming for Hudson is up on uh, the court <laughs> ledger. Listen, I love me some Jennifer Hudson, but she just do lots and lots of screaming, girl. I, I mean, I'm sorry, but it's just it be just too much screaming. That's why I can't get through a whole album. Can, it, can you give us a demonstration? Uh, what did she say? Just anything. Just scream shit. Oh, they do. Oh, you mean on the film? Oh, I made Louise. Shaka Louise, too. Her name Louise, too. Y'all ain't finna be doing my mama like that. 
Sorry. My mom been named Louise. Oh, okay. But listen, Shaka Khan. Now we love you, and we know for years you've been singing secular music. Secular music, you've been singing to men. It might be a little bit of women's, and you might be singing to those little heroin bags. Uh oh. <laughs> But daughter, I'ma need you to know the lyrics to all of these songs. Girl, you've been singing since she was 12 years old, girl. I know you knew that it was only five lines in Going Up Yonder. And anybody ask you, anybody ask you, where I'm going, where I'm going, tell them I'm going. You need a fan. Soon. Fan with shade. Yeah, cause yeah, cause I thought you missed yeah, a line. Yeah, that a race. Did you miss a line? I run this race. <laughs> now like y'all not gonna tell me y'all that they shock her to two bumps before she got up there. Here, <laughs> here. Here, here. Who out there in the audience feel like Shaka took two bumps before she got there? Oh, oh, yeah. oh was she oh, drinking yeah. in the back? No, she took two bumps. You know, period. I mean, Shaka she did take a bump. Period. Allegedly. Uh, oh, uh, uh, where's the sign? Yes, Craig, please. give me the sign. You know please. I gotta say this on Coke because I don't need her. That's Shaka. Listen. Allegedly, we Shaka had the we had the Queen Supreme Court feel like Shaka took two bumps before she got that fan in her hand, honey. Cause listen, <laughs> ain't no way you gonna fuck up a five lyric song. No way. She over there. Hey, ain't no way. I'm yonder, I'm yonder. I was like Shaka, you been over yonder and came back. And they let her go. Cl uh, I have to give yonder. it up to uh, Kirk Carr. He was the director of the choir. Love that. But they let her go back, and she went into the stall and was still singing. So I'm like, girl, mm -hmm. cut her damn mic off, but then she comes back out and still singing and just making up lyrics to the damn um, Why song. Why she going to stall her? Uh, what, what, what? Why she going to stall Y'all know what she went in that stall no, for. There you go. Listen, okay. y'all don't sit right here. Them, listen, them girls gonna take them boys to the day they leave here. <laughs> okay. To the day they leave Let me see here. your nail. Okay, put that little nap. <laughs> oh, you know, Shaka. Thank you. Run in this rain. Thank you. I'm every woman. Anybody <laughs> ask you? Like, you know. So, you know, listen, we're going to we gonna go ahead on and we're going to pray yet that Shaka be released. We ain't sending her to nothing. No, we can't send her. So that's Shaka. We just got to pray for Shaka. That's it? Yeah, God, gonna, he going to finally one day work it out. It may be at her funeral, but he going to work it out. I could tell you a story about Shaka one time in Chicago. Um, back in the day when I used to, I used to work at um, the Cotton Club down in Chicago. I used to do the open mic for the people down at the uh -huh. Cotton Club. What down happened? Chicago. What happened? Where that damn sign? What happened? You need a legend? Mm-hmm. Come on, oh, give us a, what happened? Well, one day it was what, what happened? This shot the car, honey. This is where I was hanging out with Miss Vesta and blah, blah, blah. We was singing out and shit. Because you like know, that. you saw background for Vesta. Please. I did some work with Miss Vesta. Uh -huh. But we ain't gonna talk about that. We're talking about Shot Khan <laughs> right now. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, anyway, so Shot pulled up, honey. <laughs> drunk in a skunk, honey. And she didn't get out the limousine. She fucking fell out of the goddamn <laughs> limousine. Right into, right on Michigan Avenue, into the street, honey. In a fucking pile of vomit. Oh, a mess, Miss Shaka Khan. And you saw this with your own eyes. I saw this with my own bubbly ass green motherfucking eyes, honey. Well, then we don't need this. Well, shit, oh. so, somebody, you know how people are. So she just fell out. If I got the pictures of her, honey, it'd be like, ooh, bitch, you really didn't see that, bitch, yes. Oh, Jill, she didn't fall down, she fell out. What she fell out. Fell out, Gee. boom, boom, boom. What was it? What was what? <laughs> She fell out, girl. That's what it was. Wow. <laughs> we know. In vomit. In vomit. In vomit. Lord. Oh, baby. Damn. Oh, In vomit. Lord have mercy. Allegedly. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead on moving right along, child. We're going to let Shaka be before we, you don't need her falling out again, Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen. We got Jennifer Holiday growling. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, what was the song she sung, Craig? Girl, I don't know. And I don't tell you. No, she did not sing that. No, no, she couldn't have sung. I'm not going because Rita's gone. <laughs> <laughs> there was no way she was going. She was. There was no way that she could have sung. Because Rita's is gone. Dad, she gone over. You Rita's up there singing it. I know my parents want me. Stand behind me, come with me. You can kiss up. We can take it here. I just remember what you've been told. It's a different world. It's a different world. Who is a different world? Yeah, from where you come from. from. Yes, it is now. Oh. From where you come from. 
Yeah. So okay. Rita was up there singing a different world. So she, she, there was no way she that that Jennifer was telling her that she not going. Girl. That woman there, what, what's that? This this lady right here, Jennifer Holiday. Mm -hmm. Girl, take the mic. Oh. Somebody take the mic. Oh. Stomp it, honey. Snatch her wig off and send her back home. Cause she was growling like the damn cowardly lion from the goddamn <laughs> Wiz, honey. Why is she singing like that? Ow, 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 ow. And, they, and sometimes, you know, when people get they they get old voices, they really can't hold those notes anymore, and it just sounds raggly and raspy. Ow, 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 ow. I was like, no. And then the song, and the, I'm mad at the damn director. Who the hell is the the, the musical director? Ow, ow, ow. Then let her ass keep going and on and on and on and on. I see it. I'm it happy. Was Wasn't she gonna sing for Trump? What that? Oh. Singing what for Trump? All right, moving right along. Oh, she along. can sing for Trump. No, no, <laughs> moving right <laughs> along, honey. Pass the. Wait a minute. So you watched the whole film? I didn't watch. Yes, the whole I did. Film. Seven and a half hours, honey. So pa the past the red, Ron Isaac, and Smokey Robinson. What? Who? Huh? What? Huh? Craig, what happened to past the red, Smokey Robinson? Oh, yes, yeah, honey. Kelly know that story. Yes, honey. Okay, I don't know the full link, but anyway. You know um, the story when, when the pastor, Ron, Isaac, was uh, Ron Isaac came out and he said, well, Aretha's legendary. Don't quote me on this shit, honey. Mm -hmm. Y'all can help me out. Um, so they said that uh, Aretha's legendary, honey, she can go by one name, but people like, not people like you, but see, you not really in that. Change his name. You in that group, so you got to change your name from Ron Isley to Big Big. To Mr. Or, Big. Whatever the fuck, yeah, you know, that. Okay. That's it, girl. And then he read Smokey Robinson for looking like a little Asian doll. The, the pastor did. Is it, yeah. is it the same one that was fanging Ariana Grande? Yes. Crotch. <laughs> Next case, okay. bitch, you ain't got a battle to read nobody over there fanging that finger in that woman's breast. Uh huh. Getting her damn uh, under cheese, under her damn tits. Child. Next up, we have on the court legend is Cicely Tyson. Hat. Everything. Oh, Everything. Come on, Ty Tyson was wrapped on, for the gods, honey. She was, that she was, terrible. that hat was like a, Come she on, was legend. mummified in that damn hat. Don't do that. She was mummified, baby. She was giving, and don't, and don't she still look like she looked when she was in Miss Jane Pippen? Yeah, yeah, she still look the same age, 101 years old. 101? Bitch, now like listen, we ain't gonna go ahead you don't, and reach nah, this, because we need sister to stay here as long yeah. as she can. Cause you don't make, like that hat? I do like that hat. I'll wear that to my own film. If I got if I if I break have a breakout in the face, if I leave oh, if the face broke out, <laughs> I want the hat to cover me all up. That damn head. hat is everything. I love that hat. That's not no wig hat. Listen, oh. to, listen to people in the comment section saying, don't do her, Kelly, don't do her. Do what about her? <laughs> I said she looked like Miss Jane Pimmy. Don't she look like Miss Jane damn Pimmy? Then who is this uh, lady? <laughs> well, <laughs> who is that? Was 16 when the white was woman says she started out 16 years old when the funeral started, but that's what she looked like now. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, All right. Shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the last thing to close out Rita's funeral. Baby, she knows she now, more rumor Rita. has had it for many, 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 many motherfucking years that Patty and Rita's have been feuding, okay? Uh -huh. Now, I mean, I don't know, but we just gonna resort to the things. I ain't even, let's, let's just walk. Can we roll that footage, please? Let's roll that footage, please. This video clip of Aretha allegedly shading you at the White House. You put your hand out for her to shake it, and she didn't shake it. I didn't see it. Well, no, but you were there. But it wasn't me. It wasn't you. I don't know who the lady was. Uh, okay. Lies, lies, and more lies. So, okay, baby, I'm 49. How do you know you're 54? I'm 49. You know you're 54. Really? No, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of my age. I'm older than Soul Train, older than Motown. You're older than Aretha Franklin? I don't think so, baby. <laughs> Aretha Franklin says she's launching her own food line. Have you had a Miss Patty sweet potato pie? No, I haven't, but Miss Patty's gonna have to move that pie to the side. I am very bound. My yeah. husband can take me. You didn't good. jump in, did you? No. Uh-uh, <laughs> I didn't have to. Oh, okay. <laughs> so for you, what is that? it then? What Who would you rather get stuck in an elevator with? Diana or Aretha? Diana. Diana? <laughs> All of it was all true, honey. Don't believe the hype. And let me tell you something. What I really truly believe, I really truly believe Rita's was Rita's wanted her wanted Patty to come sing at her funeral because maybe she wouldn't let her sing. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so you think it. that um Aretha Franklin, no, Patty LaBelle, 
Um, didn't say that about Aretha Franklin? I personally feel like that it was just a lot of shade going on because they was both divas. Let me tell you something. We're not going to sit up here and shade Aretha like that. Aretha was the voice before Whitney came. Yeah. Let's be, let's be perfectly clear here. Aretha was the voice before Whitney Houston got here. Oh, yes. I don't want to even hear no dispute about that. Before Whitney got here. Because once Whitney got here... They had to ride on the freeway of love in a pink Cadillac. <laughs> okay. And park it. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. And we're going to close that out with that. We're not going to shade for Reapers. We shouldn't. We, we shan't. Now, what we should shade is, next up on the court ledger, we have the City Girls from the 305. Ghetto booties. Pretty face, thick thighs, bitch. Shady period. Girl. What Shady are they girl. wearing? Uh, like newspaper comicals? I mean, the comics. Now, the- let me say this: because these girls are from from Miami, and because uh, and this is not an excuse for me, but because these girls are from Miami, I support I support these girls. I really love their music. I love their come up. I love all of these things about the city girls. However, before we even get into dissecting the situation at hand here, Kelly, mm-hmm. we need to understand that sometimes people are prod- are the product of, of the environment. That's mm-hmm. true. And the girls, the girls are ghetto. They will tell you that they are ghetto. They're ghetto. They're from the inner city. They're from, from the things of Miami. And when, you, when I'm from Miami myself, and when you're raised up in Miami, there are certain things that go on there when you're inner city, hood, ghetto, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that shit happened in St. Louis, too. But is there things that you get uh, used to? Like, you get used to hearing pump and fagot and Mm. sissy. And, like, it becomes a part of your dialect. And it becomes a part of even us communicating with with each other. Like, Mm -hmm. pump and fag, and, you know, this is what happens. Is this something in New Orleans that happens in, in NOLA, too? So, but like when you hood and you got a little ghetto in you or whatever, you know the women they talk like that. That that does not excuse these girls from the things that's going on, no. especially when the when their fan base is predominantly homosexual. Gay. Yeah. Now I do understand being from where they're from that this right. probably is something that they use or whatever. But we don't get it. I don't like that. That's what they said. But I'm gonna say this and then I'm gonna move. I'm gonna let Kelly speak. Oh. I'm oh. speaking on this. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't give a shit about these hoes. It ain't oh, my, it's oh, not about camera. Yeah, it's, about what, it's about what. It's about what it is. Well, I mean, they, oh, I'm gonna go say ahead. this, Kelly. Okay, go okay. ahead. Go ahead. What we have to start doing as people buying albums, buying music, buying things is we have to understand that we don't know the artist. We like the artistry. Exactly. So we cannot. We we might be in love with the song. We might be in love with the music, but we the don't movie, know them man. as a person until they. Experience Expose my themselves. Neck, my back. I mean, that's a, also another example of the situation, you know, which I'm not gonna, you know, go d- deep into because, you know. Anyway, bless her heart. <laughs> but we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna say, like, because she tweeted stuff like, "Boy, oh boy, if I ever see any of right, gay shit in my son, I'm gonna beat that boy right. so bad." She said. She said that. Miami, 2013. In 2013, yes. Young Miami did say that. She said that. Now, we're living in a time where, girl, honey, when you get famous, girl, you got to go and delete them tweets. You got to go delete them You're Facebook here. posts. You got to go They're delete. not that smart, though. That's what I'm saying. They are from the inner city. Yeah. They're get, they are ghetto girls. They have a really, they have a really good come up. Really and no shade. Because I'm from Miami, I do want these girls to win. I do yeah. want this to happen. We like them. I love them. But I don't like this. I don't like seeing things like this. I don't really like hearing things like this. Because I'm always bumping ghetto girl. Da, da. But it's just that I don't know them. I know the music. You feel me? So my thing with the situation is... First of all, she made lots of responses back because Twitter was wearing her wearing their asses out, okay? And being that she made a lot a lot of these responses and things back, I feel like that this is where PR should step in, you know, and, and go through that because she said, what was what did she say, Craig? Here we go. What she was her said, response to it? Her response was, my first, my stylist, one of my makeup artists and hairdresser is gay. Y'all want me to apologize for some shit that I don't have a problem with. What y'all won't do is tear me down how y'all do other people. And see, see sister. It's not an apology. I would say, sister, because we're from Miami, there are a lot of things that we grew up in that we were really oblivious to because, you know, 
as if we, we were being products of our environment and like like I've found myself accepting you know things from those people saying fag and tranny and gay you know and I didn't find anything really wrong with it but we're living in a new time of things are offensive and we should be really respecting people especially people that love us so I'm gonna go ahead on I'm gonna sentence these these uh, city girls to a uh, three year uh, training in PR some kind of training and I'm gonna say this shit right here too if you homophobic or transphobic or whatever or you don't like trans or gay people I'm okay with that but just stay out of areas. Mm-hmm. Don't use our words. Don't use our words. Don't use our hair. Don't use our makeup. Don't period. use our yeah. just Dolly. period. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't do that. Do you know what I'm saying? But I honestly really don't believe that this is the way they feel about that. But it's always an issue with, with something gay when it's a part of your family. We made you, bitch. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. So uh, you know. So if she was white, it would it would go down. What you want to send us out to? I want to send her to about two, three years of PR training and to just let them keep their mouth closed, let them focus on their music and shit like that, because I still want the girls to win. I don't know if they like me or not. I really, at this point, it really does not bother me if they like me or not, you know, but whatever. I, I'm really kind of like torn between that, but I just really feel like that they need some. Craig, how do you feel about it? Girl, I don't even want to talk about them no more. Fuck them all. Uh, all right, moving right along. Next. Moving right along. All right. Pebbles. Oh, this girl. Pebbles has finally pulled her Mercedes up to Viacom. <laughs> <laughs> Is that 2012? <laughs> Pebbles has finally pulled her 1993 <laughs> Mercedes up to Viacom, and she has settled the lawsuit with Viacom over uh, over the TLC biopic. How many of you guys watched the TLC biopic? Woo! You didn't? Oh, I did. Oh. And I found out many things about Pebbles. Many things. Oh, yes. Many I things. found out that she was really driving the Mercedes based on, while those girls were driving. Uh, what were they Grab Fours. Grab Fours. Pintos. Pintos. And she was out there. <laughs> she was riding in the Mercedes and singing about, do you want to ride in my Mercedes, boy? Right. Tell you what I'm going to do. With me, with me, with me. Yeah. me. You know, her crew and civics. So, I mean, being that she settled the $40 million in the TLC biopic, do you think that the... the so why did she get $40 million? Why did she get $40 million? Well, she didn't get $40 million. She was suing them for $40 million. Okay. They were supposed to go to court September 24th. Right. They settled out of court. So, okay. I mean, she got some... She maybe got twenty. Who knows? Okay. She got well, what the fuck did TLC something. them get? Right. Well, how much did she send to the to the? Right, well, yeah, she didn't send well, them. Be clear, it's TL now. It's TL. Well, they could have given to the estate. It's things that could have been given to the estate. So basically, that's okay, here it is. So we have some things. It says Viacom attempted to get the case dismissed. The court did allow the former singer to sue scenes where she was shown pres- pressuring. pressuring group members to sign contracts without sufficient time. Pebbles, you one shady bitch. But one thing, <laughs> so that's what they showed in the film. In the film, they depicted her, her character, forcing them to sign these contracts. Yes. And so okay. she won based on that. Because uh, they said that was defamation. She greedy. Girl, but we know that you didn't give them women their money. You were singing about Mercedes, girl, while they, those girls were pushing rap for us, girl. Mm-hmm. You were dead wrong. But let me tell you something. Whatever you don't get on earth, you will get on the other side. Period. Period. Let her burn. Okay. So now we're going to move on to, oh, mm. Lord, I don't even know if I'm going to touch this. Who's that? Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about, Ma? Trey. Trey, exactly. All right, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, we, uh, next up on the court ledger, we have Young Put Him in the Buck Buck. <laughs> Who that, Ma? I met Young Roll the footage. Check this out real quick. Let me go on and address this real, real fast real quick. Ain't shit gay about me. I ain't got a problem with no gay people. Whatever the fuck you niggas thought you seen on the tape, nigga, that ain't no motherfucking tape or no motherfucking punk sucking my dick. But for you bitch ass nigga or niggas, cook up in particular, nigga, since you wanna jump on the Instagram and play all these old gangsta ass roles like you that, bitch ass nigga, why don't you just pull up and keep that same energy, nigga? You give me the location, I'll give you the location. Keep that same energy and say all this old hoe ass shit that you wanna say on the gram, say it to my face. We can do it on the live too, you bitch ass nigga. This what you want, you suck ass nigga. Come get the real energy though. Cause you know what's up, nigga. 
Yeah, it was. Now I don't know about any of y'all in the audience, but that just made my pussy wet. Pussy yeah. Yeah. It was your mom. Hey. It was your mom. Let me tell you something. That just made my pussy so wet because I love the way he just carried on like that in defense of himself. Nothing was his dick, man. Let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna say this. Our video. That's his video. There was a video, but we're not gonna show that here because we're not gonna have any any okay. any reporting of any of those types of situations. However, okay. has anyone seen the video? I I watched. I'm going to look right here. Now I don't want to say this, but I'm gonna say this. Society has prepared it to where men cannot indulge in the things that they like to indulge in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one. Two. I ain't screaming about it like that, bitch. And I ain't fighting bitches if I ain't doing it. If I ain't doing it. Right. I agree with that. Young Buck, we're going to go ahead and sentence. We're going to go ahead and sentence you also to PR <laughs> training. Okay. And we would like for you not to be in inboxes because there, there, you've been in, you've been in Ooh. inboxes. Oh, IG? A punk. A punk. I don't know if they're punk. Where's, where's, let me have that sign. The allegedly sign. Let me have that sign. You've never been in my inbox. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> You've never been in my inbox, because I'm not going to even say that. You've never been in mine. Allegedly. But from my understanding, honey, they say they they say they you know what they say of you know what they say about I. The freaks come out at night. What what mm -hmm. what? In the daytime too, obviously. Yay. Anyway, <laughs> trans women, please understand that these men, um, get your money, girl. Sure. Get your money. Don't don't get feelings. Get paid. That's all. Okay. You know what it is. You know when you're dealing with somebody on the DL. You know when this stuff got start going on. Girl, get paid. Don't get feelings. They ain't gonna never claim you, bitch. You already know. They gonna hold their manhood up or whatever it is. And girl, get get money, bitch. Don't get feelings. What if it was a problem? It was all. I mean, because I don't want to get incriminated in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking from things, I don't want to do that. But I'm not dumb to any of the things. First of all, I'm T.S. Madison, honey, and I was the hooker, whore, slut, and all of the things in the And, bitch, I know girls on top of girls from all over the United States of the world, okay? I've heard many things. I have not seen with my own eyes, so I don't know if anything is true. But I've heard many things. You feel me? I don't know. What you feeling, Kelly? I do not know. Kelly, you All I'm glass. telling my girls, I need to tap in that glass. I need to tap in that glass. What you feeling? I need to, feel? I need to speak to my girls. Kelly? Was it girls, Kelly? get money. Don't get feelings. Cause you will get dissed and denied. Uh -huh. Moving right along. <laughs> Bobby Brown. <laughs> Why he take a drink? <laughs> Bobby Brown claims that he he kicked Janet Jackson allegedly. He kicked Janet Jackson out of his hotel room. All the way around. What? All the way around. <laughs> okay. All the way around. Where's this uh, break? Give me this. Move right along. Can we find it? I need to find this story. According to the Jasmine brand. Well, maybe he did. Yeah. Maybe. First she, of all, let me explain something to Janet you. Janet probably wasn't giving a head, and he probably wanted some head. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't want to give it. You know, she's Jehovah's Witness, you know, all that kind of stuff. They're Muslim now. But see, he pushed her head down there too fast. And People outside are watching us. I don't really care what they say. I want you now. Give me some hair. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay, you gotta go. All right, you got to go. I mean, so according to the Jasmine brand, let me go to the highlighted section. In his book, Brown mentions he was having an affair with Jackson oh. in the mid '80s, Michael while she was still married to James Debar. Michael Jackson. They weren't married. Brown alleges he kicked the Rhythm Nation singer out of his hotel room after having intercourse. Michael, maybe? 
See, which Jackson? Well, I mean, like he kicked her out. They already <laughs> did it, though. It could be Reba. It was not Reba, baby. Reba Kushi was a little too old for motherfucking Bobby at the time. You feel me? Bobby, you know, he was my prerogative. Was he my prerogative at the time? Everybody's talking. No, he was still with the, the boy group. Wasn't he? Everybody's talking. All of us are something, something. Why they don't just come suck this dick? Tell me why. Yeah, so you know. You know, you know, Janet went with all that. First of all, Janet Jackson made uh, Tupac get an AIDS test before she kissed him in Poetic Jesse. Did you know that? Nah. Give me Tazo. She made she made Tupac Shakur get an AIDS test before she, before she kissed easy. him in Poetic Justice. So I don't know if I believe Bobby Brown about this. Hmm. I don't believe it. Because Janet probably made him get an AIDS. Bitch as much dick Bobby was slanging during that time. True. Fucking with Coke was. Shit, who? We all got a piece. Who is we all got? Ooh. Next case. <laughs> 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 All right, moving right along. Chris Brown is. Girl, what's going on with Chris oh, Brown? No. I love Chris oh, Brown. Oh, Chris Brown is in custody war over child support for his daughter royalty. No, no. Of course, going to give him custody. Listen, you know? here's the Who'd thing. I, 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 I don't know about y'all. I don't see Chris Brown making homophobic rants. No. I don't see Chris Brown bashing yes, games. Yes, I, he did. But he behind his giraffe. He pushed the boy in the face. Remember that? Because he, he touched his butt. I'm going to punch a bitch in the face the and they touch my ass too when they give me my money. The boys touched his butt. Boy touch his butt. I caught the footage. I'm going to punch a bitch in their face too if they motherfucking touch me and don't give me my money. Well, I would have done a punch in my face. Listen, I fucked with Chris Brown a long way. I love Chris. I really like the healthy Chris Brown. I don't like the unhealthy looking Chris Brown. I don't like the way he looked that looking unhealthy, them drugs and the hair on and powder weed, bookie, and his shit. Allegedly. I don't know about that being a legend. Chris Brown been looking. He ain't been. I don't like the way he been looking lately. And I love Chris. I love Chris. I buy all Chris Brown albums when they come out, whatever. And I'm a fan of Chris Brown. And I don't like the way Chris Brown been looking, but. Listen, I think the man take care of his daughter. And he I loved his daughter. A lot of these girls open their legs up, child, to make these motherfucking cash out. Cash out, cash out. That's mm -hmm. what I call these kids, cash out kids. Mm -hmm. Selling the cookie through cash out. I just feel like these be the cash out kids. Like, girl, stop having these kids. Y'all know y'all want to lock this man. Y'all ain't really love him. These hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> he said that. I got pregnant too, though. But my thing is, if you're in a custody war over child support, girl, Chris, I really feel like that you've been doing them narcotics and things. Let that <laughs> let that woman have the baby. Give that baby the money. Let's, you know, give me some more music and things like that. You I don't, don't I love that support. baby. You don't want to pay child support. He loves his daughter. I think, yeah, I think he's, he's he doing a good job daughter. as a father. Yes, he loves her. I love um, Chris Brown. But she going to suck him dry if she get that baby. They say he paid $2,500 a month and $4,000 a month for child care. And the lady See? wants to raise it to $21,000. See, that's why. Dragging it, bitch. You don't need no more hair weave. What's this bitch name? Baby. Keep that baby. Keep that baby, Chris. Bitch, why? You don't need no motherfucking uh -uh. Get that baby to Chris. Bitch, you don't need no more Halloween. You don't need no more Quaaludes. You don't need no more of that, girl. Give Chris his baby. Let them nannies raise that baby. Bitch, you got ready. Bitch, you get $2,500 and $4,000 a month for child. That's $6,500, niece. She greedy. But I think she lives out there in California, girl. You know a studio apartment out there in California is uh, well, allegedly. About $2, allegedly, he paid for the house. Rick, um, Chris Brown. He paid for the house, too. Allegedly, he pays for the house in California and the house in Houston. You know, and the oh, he's doing all baby. that, and then she want more money? That's why the That's amount is so low. Let me tell you something. If it wasn't for that baby involved, I'd tell, that, tell them to hang that bitch by her hat weed. <laughs> My sister, that bitch, was a hang that bitch by her hat weed. Sold in. Sold in. By that sold in hat, so she can't even move. <laughs> <laughs> but the baby need her mama. Sick of these bitches. The baby need her daddy. She need her mama and her daddy. Yeah, girl. All right, let's move on to the next thing. What's what is this surprise video you got up here, Craig? What the fuck going on right now? You are, you prepared the document. What's going on? Here we go. What is this surprise video? Y'all allow that baby to wake me up. With that damn door. Oh, oh my baby. baby. Okay, whoever needs to watch your language. I don't have to. I don't have to watch no lane. Cuz, cuz, I don't have to watch no lane. Cuz, y'all got this four last child. Y'all got this four last child. Woke me up with the Scooby Doo shit. The pop, the, the, 
them women walking by here, these women, these women walking by him, if this fucking baby would have been a black baby, Say, they would have told that word. baby, Honey. cut that damn noise Don't talk to her like that, because you can get it. Anybody else can get it. Cause anybody, anybody can get it. We don't give a fuck. No. I'm talking to you. You talking to my wife? Don't see. nobody need to be back here. Shit. See, ain't nobody going to disrespect They came wife. through this motherfucker and then, and then had his talk, baby cut this fucking noise head, out. Boy. And then he's... What's up, cuz? Bitch, I don't know what the fuck mega bus trip that was. I don't know yeah. what the fuck is going on with Scooby Doo music, and they woke her up, baby, and she wasn't feeling it, baby. No, oh, man, she didn't feel none of that at all. Good. You're trying to be some ass. That being said, fuck that, we don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. And her husband in the background. Her husband said, was riding. Her husband was back there, right? See, if you ain't got a nigga that's riding for you like that, that, wake, that when you wake up out your sleep, cussing a baby that's and their mama wife. and daddy out. All of them out, honey. That's my motherfucker. Bus driver, everybody. Everybody, honey, hold up, cause you get the ass right together. Do the nigga better hold up, cause you feel me? You ain't gonna be back there talking to my wife. <laughs> and she was right. right. She was ready to go. She's like, cause you ain't gonna be talking to my wife like that, cause you feel me? Yeah. So I'm gonna want your yeah, ass, cause. Yeah. Bitch, I could tell they was bloods and crips at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> she was ready. Yeah, shit. To beat some ass. Well, and the baby ass. They, and the baby's ass. And the baby. Listen, how many of y'all done been woke up on the plane by a crying ass baby? Oh, yeah. I was woke up today on the crying on the plane with a crying ass baby. Bitch, let me tell you something. I was in the nail shop and this baby, sure. this 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 Jamaican girl came in there cussing out her kids and the baby wouldn't stop screaming. Ah! Oh shit. Ah! I looked over there, I was like, listen. I'll buy you a <laughs> Ma'am, how long is it gonna be on my toes? Cause I got to get the fuck out of here. Just crying at me. Screaming in your ear. Why you want? Why you want? Why you want? Why? I said, oh no, let me out. Cause I don't know what really the fuck she said. That bitch may say some shit wrong and I may hit her and the. This shit beat everybody, huh? Bitch, I don't know. Anyway, let's move right along to the next thing that we have on the court ledger. Bank of America locked immigrants out of accounts. What kind of Ooh, shit is this? Up ass shit. According to the shade room, Bank of America reportedly are freezing accounts of customers suspected of not being U.S. citizens. Fucked up. Ooh. Fucked up. Fucked up. Fucked up. And how does Bank America profit off of this kind of shit? What? Is there a statement, Greg? Mm -hmm. What kind of shit is this? They're taking the jobs, Mom. We can't go there. What? Hold on, we got some statement. What? According to the Huffington Post, numerous customers claim they've been locked out of their account after failing to answer questions about their citizenship As to provide should. or provide some type of documentation that would be accepted. Well, your paperwork, huh? I'll put Trump on that now. What's interesting? about this is that the bank hasn't denied the allegations. The bank said it asked account holders about their country of citizenship in order to comply with country specific sanctions and routinely conducts outreach to ensure. Read more at shaderoom.com. T.S. Madison. Let me tell y'all something for real. Don't try me in my motherfucking bank account, bitch, because I'm from Florida. Because I'm from Florida, bitch, because I'm from Miami, bitch. I'm Cuban, Presbyterian, Baptist. Real close. English, bitch, honey, culture. Co here, mom. Spanish, <laughs> Creole, Haitian. I'm all of the things, Stop bitch. Y'all start locking me out my motherfucking account. I'm coming in there whooping somebody ass right there. You hear me, cuz? <laughs> cuz, don't put fucking shit on me, cuz. You know what I mean? I'm coming in there and stabbing all Getting of all their money. You ain't come here, okay? Is a lawsuit going on with that? Listen, this is America. We, this is America. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next case that we have here on the court ledger. A wife poisons a man <gasps> with eye drops for uh, cheating on him. Period. I want to do this. Do you do? I want to do that. I want to try it. See if it works. It you want to pour? Listen, that's what Bill Cosby was doing. Yeah. He was dropping the eye drops in the drink. He was sitting back there. And all, all, listen, the girls, what happened was with Bill Cosby, they was dropping eye drops in the drink. And the girls had their cups back there. And they, they dropped in a little bit of red out the eye, red in their cup. He, they ain't die. They just got fucked real good. <laughs> so, did she want to fuck him real good? Or she was trying to kill him? She killed him, child. Oh, she killed him, killed him? He did. Oh. I don't think there was eye drops. They said, yeah, they want eye drops. They want eye drops. Oh, so I don't she think put that something that was, else in the eye drops. They, 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 made, that, they made eye drops not poisonous years ago. Bitch, I don't think that was eye drops. I don't think that was eye I don't think that was Vizine. Yeah. Oh. It was. It was. That might have been some transmission fluid, but I don't know about that. <laughs> Shit. 
bitch. Ooh, no. not trade. What's that? What's the antifreeze? You know, antifreeze. You know yeah. antifreeze. They, listen, I've been watching That's that. That's sweet. I've been watching Investigation Discovery Channel, and bitch, you know you can kill a bitch with feet pouring them antifreeze. Mm -hmm. Right into your cup, honey. Girl, they say it's sweet like Kool-Aid. Yes, ma'am. Child, let me get me a rich husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Babe, I got some of this red Kool-Aid here. You want to drink? A battery acid. A bitch, not battery acid, because you're going to feel that going down. They say that damn uh, antifreeze. antifreeze will let you have it. That's why you got to be careful who in there fixing your cup of Kool-Aid, bitch. Don't fix me no Kool-Aid. Don't fix me no Kool-Aid, bitch. I make my own, my single packets, bitch. If I don't see you drinking it, bitch, I don't want none of it. Next case. All right. Girl, listen, we got a video up here. Uh, gladly these people have been caught for the bullshit that they, that they done did. But With social media? Roll this footage. Roll this footage. <laughs> Come on, little baby. Oh, he fell as fuck. He fell as fuck. Oh, yeah, big gas. Big gas. Come on. Yeah. He did this shit out of his Yeah. Pass, pass, puff all around the damn nursery school. Did you see the baby? Did you see the fucking smoke come out of the baby? That baby was the real baby shit. Yeah, he's been smoking. That baby he's been, been doing it for a while. Listen, parents like these need to have their uteruses and penises ripped out, <laughs> bitch. Oh, they don't need to produce any more kids, bitch, period. Oh, those are the parents? Yes. So dusty ass motherfuckers right there. Yeah. Is that a, what is that, what the is big that picture? Like? That's a strange thing. Oh, it got so, oh, is that, oh, okay. <laughs> Uh -uh. Bull? Uh uh, don't say that loud. Uh uh. We bull fighter. Have... It's a bullfighter. Okay, bullfighter. Bull okay, bullfighter. Okay. Bull You're okay. not gonna have me in trouble like you got the city girls in trouble. I ain't listening uh -oh. to that bullshit. Bull fighter. And what is the girl with the blonde hair? <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick landslide. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. Oh. okay. Wait, wait. So we're sentencing both of them. I don't know what they're going to get in prison, but we're sentencing them to, uh, we want their coochies to be uh, tied to the back of a 1993 Buick LeSabre, and we want them to be snatched out driving 115 miles an hour. And we Why don't want you just, just take uh, like an egg beater and just put it in there? No, we just, we want the Buick to snatch it. Oh, you want it to snatch it out? Snatched out. Okay. With some sick other parts as well. Sick of y'all motherfuckers. Okay. Getting them kids, how having them kids being like Chi Chi bitch smoking weed <laughs> at the eight. <laughs> hey, 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 allegedly. Tell it more. Allegedly. Tell it more. Uh, uh, at the age of what? Allegedly. Yeah. Moving right along. <laughs> but Chi Chi was out there in them screens. That's how he started smoking. Yeah, my suit. Not my suit. Them screens in Miami. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move right along. Uh, according to the Shade Room Foodies, Oreo launches new flavors. It's called. Uh, Hot chicken, wings, yeah, and wasabi. What in the colonized fuckery? Who the fuck wants that? Bitch, give me the hot chicken wings, bitch. No, no shame. Yeah. With chocolate? Yeah, she ain't got the chocolate going on with Y'all don't want no hot chicken wings? No. 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 And no, I don't no. want no damn hot ass. How many of y'all gonna eat some of the hot chicken wings? No. 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 Or wasabi, chocolate wasabi. No. no. Don't want that either. That's some in my dessert. Cheese. I don't need that for a dessert. Mm. That was a stupid ass. And you dip it in the goddamn milk. No, man. I want to try, bitch. Give me okay. some hot chicken wing Oreo. But the ruffles, that, those jalapeno ruffles are very damn good. You like those? Hell to the yell. But that shit right there. Listen, no, just man. don't get your ass licked after you eat a bag of those hot wings. <laughs> <movies. laughs> or that was some. Don't get your ass licked because it might be an accident on mm. your partner's tongue. Get your good old baby wipes, baby. <laughs> Wipe well. All right. Next up on the court ledger. Listen, let me tell y'all something. I don't have any kids. <laughs> But if I had kids, bitch, I would be totally about that life for my motherfucking kids. Especially if another kid is bullying my child. I'm telling y'all something. I'm going to say this shit and I don't even got no children. I don't give a bitch. You can get backhanded. Back up. Back up. <laughs> bitch, 8 or 80. 8 or 80, bitch. Roll the footage. Same bitch. She look at, she look at, I don't want her talking to my daughter no more. And next time I have this conversation, it's like, I'm going to beat your ass. For real. Kick you. I'm going to kick your whole ass. I'm at this school. The next time my child come home and your big ass child I ain't her motherfucking lunch, I'm gonna kick your ass out that motherfucking car. I was ready to do it today. I got girl, you got start. I got here on two. I was gonna beat your motherfucking ass. But there's too many people up here. 
There's too many people up here. It, I ain't lucky for nothing. You motherfucking lucky. Because you lucky that, let me tell you something. No, we ain't had no grown woman conversation. The grown woman conversation is, your daughter went to stay her ass away from my motherfucking child. Because next, next time, next time, I won't be knocking on your motherfucking window. I'll be knocking on your motherfucking noggin. You damn right. But my motherfucking child, I'm going to be hood, good, and all the motherfucking bub. Your daughter better stay the fuck away from my motherfucking And I will beat you and your daughter ass. And bitch, I motherfucking will, ho. And I motherfucking will. Bitch, I, I don't need the motherfucking wig. What the fuck you thought? <laughs> oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, bitch, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, bitch, she was going for it. Bitch, I don't, I don't, your motherfucking daughter eat my lunch again. I'm going to fuck all you hoes up. Bitch. Let me, let, let me let you know something. That bitch is free to go. What accent was that? Yeah. Listen, if you out there whooping a bitch ass for taking something from you, That's right. from your daughter, bitch, don't, don't let your kids be taking shit from nobody else's kid. Bitch, whoop her mammy ass. And she say the kid is a big fat ass daughter. She say your big fat ass daughter, bitch. Taking my daughter shit. Oh, they eat my daughter lunch. What's her accent? Where was they from? That sounded like something. It, it sounded like they were from Florida. No. What y'all think? They sound like they she were. She had a nice little twang, and it was a cute sound, honey. Did she snatch her hair off, too? That wig came off. Bitch, that's what sometimes you gotta let ready. it be. She should have used it as a motherfucking whip, honey. Shh, shh, shh. Hit that bitch right through the car window with Through the crack of her face. Yeah, oh, honey. Bitch, bust listen, all her lips she open. wasn't scared of nobody, the baby or the mother. Oh, nah, these she said, bitch, I got something for both of you pussies. Mm. All right, moving to the next thing that we have on the court ledger, bitch, Roll Rage Vigilante. What is this, Craig, you put here on the damn, on the, on the court ledger? Oh. What, what is this? All right. Oh, we need to side by side no. for this. We skip one, huh? Oh, we skip one? I'm sorry. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, we skip something. Hold on, let's go back because we skip something. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> what we had there was we had skipped. Cosby Show actor Jeffrey Owens was spotted bagging grocery at New New Jersey Trader Joe's. Are they getting residuals from the Cosby Show? No, they snatched it off. Did you know what they? I had. mean, but but was he getting it? Yeah, I guess no, for the episodes funny. he was on, but uh -huh. he wasn't like a main. Yeah, character. that's true. Bitch, first of all, like I said upstairs, make your money. First of all, like I said upstairs earlier, that TV shit will get let you get exposed or whatever, bitch. And when they cut your lifeline off, hold you hoes better have you bitches better have y'all some YouTube yeah, accounts. Yeah. Y'all better have some Instagram, some Twitter. Y'all better try to make some, be some influencers, girl, online. Don't be sitting up here waiting on that TV money. But the gag is, I'm not even shaming this man. This man got a job. At least he ain't out there like that girl from uh, In The House. What's her name? No, um, What's that girl name from In The House that's out there smoking, cracking shit like that? Oh, lose her goddamn mind. Buy your camera. And them niggas out there filming her, bitch, looking a fool with three missing teeth, bitch. Are you crazy? He is working. He working, he bagging gross, and he look a mess. But bitch, yeah. at the end of the day, that man is eating. Look at his stomach and titties. You see his stomach and titties? That man ain't missing no meals, bitch. Trader Joe's got good food. Y'all got Trader Joe's up here? I don't know. Trader Joe's hiding in the gallon of gas, bitch. So he, get, he getting a motherfucking good check. It's like Whole Foods. Bitch, anybody that work or shop at Whole Foods got money. Yeah. Bitch, don't be no fool. And let that motherfucker live his life. He got a big ass stomach and big titties up there. That bitch ain't missing no meal. And y'all can't shame him for that. Let me tell y'all something, bitch. If, if none of this shit don't pay the bills, you best believe that my legs gonna be to the moon. I'm gonna sell ass until I can't no more. I don't do it now. Not anymore. But bitch, if any of this shit get cut off, I know my, just like the blood still work, this ass is niggly still work. You know your It will never lose. It's an everlasting power. Yeah. All right. Now let's move on to the uh, Royal Rage Vigilante, darling. Let's go. Oh, I've been waiting on this. Is she fucking kidding me? She's getting arrested. That's a federal charge. Yeah, she's getting Shit, she's going to fucking jail. Uh, what the fuck? Yo. Oh no, y'all gotta help me. That is Yo. 
Yo, leave him. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. What the hell? Yo. What are you doing, bro? Oh, that's all man, man. That's all man, bro. That's a... What you guys doing? Hello, 911. Yo. 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 Just move from all the top so you don't get hurt. Yo. So hurt. Watch out, watch out. You up there, y'all move. Watch out, man. Watch out, man. Yo. Yo. Yo, what the fuck? Oh. Yo. 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 You got it. What about Bob? <laughs> okay, what the fuck just happened? That was too much. <laughs> she was ready to go. She was ready to go. What what that got to do with the bus and her beating the goddamn bus? Well, the bus probably the bus cut her off. She had to flee the scene. She had to get out. She had to get out. Baby, honey, she so she was fleeing everything, I honey, because she was gonna take his ass home with her. Oh, she had to flee the scene. Do we got any backstory on what the fuck happened? Got to. <laughs> the bus hit our car. Oh, it's the so bus. So the white man that was on the car, that, that was, was the bus? That was the bus driver. How he got out the car and got in front of her car? Trying to stop her so the police could come. She, knees. Baby. Knees. Knees. you going to jail. Yeah. Knees, you going to jail. Knees, you going to jail, <laughs> you going to jail for a All long kind of thing. Thing. She, she definitely is wrong, but I think he had some. Oh, he was a character. He, he, he definitely had so some goddamn Because, like, he's jumping shit. on the hood of the car. Like, right. you, yeah, I mean, he did a little fake ass rest in that damn right. jump on the car. <clears throat> I was like, bitch, if you don't get your ass off my car, will you be under my time? But let me tell you something. At the end of the day, all of that, what he did. Oh. Uh -huh. Was extra. Great niece is going to jail. Yeah. She had her tag exposed like that. And let me tell you something. Don't you get out your motherfucking car attacking the cop. First of all, if you get hit from behind, bitch, you get. You get the, the person right. that hits you is getting charged and you should have right. just let that happen. But and bitch, when you get out your car and roll rage and pee yourself. They don't they don't play by that roll rage shit. They will mm. fuck you up she in must, certain yeah. cities. That must be a new car. She must have just got it. Drove off the leash and she was mad as fuck, honey. I just got this motherfucking car and you don't run into the back of it, bitch. No God. She don't really look like she get hit from the back anyway. Oh. Uh, <laughs> her she look like she need to stop getting hit from the back. No, that no, that way that hair, that way that, that hair she don't mess, she don't get hit from the back. She look. She too ratchet not to get no dick. Bitch, let me tell you something. <laughs> Grandies, what she we're gonna do for you here at the Queen Supreme Court, we're gonna Craig pass me this. This thing right here. Ah. Uh. What we're gonna do for you here at the Queen, Queen Supreme Court, we're gonna flip this around for you several times a day because niece, you gone. <laughs> niece, you gone. Niece. You got 24 hours. No, we're gonna flip it around each day and, and pray for her <laughs> to get out and hope she ain't got no kids because, bitch, she gone. I, I mean, she needs to go. She got the kids, mom. When they gather her, because they got her tag, she's gone. We pray for Her lease car will be going right back. Niece, we're praying for you, niece, because you gone. Bye. <laughs> Next. All right. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, last on the thing here before we do our before we do our close out is Nicki Minaj. Woo! Nicki Minaj had a unfortunate mishap. Her breath, her titty nipple had. Come on, slipped. Janet. Uh huh. She liked it. I'm she looking for it. Is that I, it? I thought it was. No, we ain't showing the titty nipple. Yeah. She needs it. No, no, so the titty. It was the pasty. It was the pasty. Oh, so it was a pasty on yeah, the it pasty. Wasn't the whole titty. It well, wasn't the whole well, titty. She had pasty. Oh, so it was planned for that to happen. Yeah. Hey, like the whole case, Janet Jackson. Just in case it came no, that out, wasn't she planned. was planned. She was covered. No, Janet Jackson was not playing the one of a cut. Let me show you that one. Bitch, they, Janet Jackson ain't been back to the Super Bowl. Not at all. They yeah. banned because her. They banned her. She had they banned her. her. They she did. They did. But I think that was part of the whole act when you did that. No. They didn't ban Justin Timberlake. They banned her. She ain't been back to the Super Bowl. Yeah, they threw her. Yeah, that was shady. This is where is Nicki Minaj? At? This is her concert. Made in America. What is Made in America? Made in America. Philly, 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 Philly. 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 It was like That's it, one of the it, biggest it, concerts in Philly. This is the last yeah. one. Well, I live in Atlanta, one. and I'm from Miami, so I don't know anything. No, no more. This is the last one. one. <laughs> it's Jay Z's event. Yeah. It's Jay Z's event. Uh, okay. The mayor said this is the last one. It's the last but one. But it's not. She looks good. Yeah. Her titty came out. You know, it looks. Both of them. She kind of pulled it out. 
Both of them came both out? Both of them came out. She got to put it. Oh, no. Both of them came out. Yeah, she no. wrote, wrote a footage. We got footage, Ma? No, we're not doing that. Was, that. No. She had to get my page blocked. That was a start. But it was a pasty, so I mean. Okay. She well, had a flower pasty cover her nipples. Girl, let the queen sell her albums. All right. <laughs> anyway, last she, thing she that she we have no <laughs> Free to, free to go. Free to go. That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. Next thing and the final thing that we have on the court thing. One. Gotta go. Oh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have chosen some powerhouse voices in this category. And um, what we're gonna do, since Kelly Love is a, she's a good. Oh singer. no! Don't do it! Uh, don't do it! Yes, Lord. No, we're good. gonna no. take a piece from each one of these Jennifer girls' Jennifer. iconic songs. I know. I can't. And she then we're gonna decide. I've already made my decision. Yeah. I made my decision. You gotta go. Kiki's still carrying notes. Okay. Turn yours over. So do what? No, just turn it over. We don't have to. So here we go. Do 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 do. do, do. All right, so before we do the elimination, oh, Kelly, can you give us? I do Kelly since it's Kelly. Jennifer can go. Sorry that we're leaving. Jennifer sorry that I stay. Who is that? That's um that's a song by uh, Kelly Price called Sorry. I don't know that song. <laughs> um, it was friend in me. What well, friend of mine? Friend of mine. She Kelly Price is the best thing. Friend of mine. You said we're not made. You lied. Cheated. Something, something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do one. Okay. Let's do one for Fantasia. Yeah. Come on. Give it to me. Feed me one. Feed me Fantasia. And finally. Yeah. 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 I can be that impossible. Yeah. I'm glad that you're not. You see, I'm waiting on my life. Oh, okay. Oh, it's to arrive. Yeah, that is her idol song. I believe. I believe. That's memorization. Well, I don't like who lives in under your spotlight. Just because you think I'm mad. Find somebody worth Okay, Kiki. <laughs> come on. Her infamous. Come on, Ma. Uh huh. What's the What's the one? Well, Vaughn. Tarnish dreams. Hold a tarnish chance. Time keeps turning. Come sorry. Long as I live. Long as I live. You. Now, since we, now, okay, all right. See, I know these damn songs, but Hold I hear them on the radio shit. Now, listen, since we've done one from each, let's go back and try to do two. Mm. Jenny got to go. Jenny got to go. Got oh, y'all don't want to do two? No, nope. we know our decision. No. Jenny to have two. Something in my soul laying you right. I can't <laughs> sleep at night. Wondering when my tray gon' come. Because you know he's not the only one. Tell me when I turn you oh, off. Doctor said it's not, not my fault. fault. All the neighbors stop and stare. Pastor said to stay in prayer. Okay, now let's do another Fantasia. Give me a Fantasia. Um, this is my two week notice. I resigned my position because you ain't treating me right. Hey, I've been working on the job, just busting my ass, leaving you every day and night. I got no credits or no positions, cause you stay with me. This is my establishment. I'm gone. I'm gone. Well, okay. 
week. This is my two week notice. Come on, that baby mama drama. Okay, now let's get down to Jennifer. So what's one of another? Oh shit. And I'm telling you, ah, uh, that's not hers. No, that oh, ain't. that's right. That's not Craig. Do you know Jennifer? She got lucky. Come on, um, she gotta go. Um, she's gone. Um, she's gone. Um. No, 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 no. That's not hers, man. We thought no, that. No, 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 Kelly. Uh-uh. That's we not even. We, that's the one that's gotta go. No. Okay. Well, since no. we, so since we, we don't have a second one from Jennifer Hudson that we like. Let's go on to Kiki Y. Let's get a second one from Kiki Y. We can't do Jennifer like that. Come on, Jennifer. We got Can we one. do Kiki Y? Can we get another Kiki? Jennifer got one. Give us another Kiki. Craig, do we know another Kiki? Candy coated Valentine. Do her remake. Do her remake. When you were mine. Come on, Lindsay. But that's the same song, though. Isn't that the same song? Do her remake. Do her remake to Patty LaBelle. Oh, no. All right. That was Renee and Angela. Okay, y'all be quiet, please. So this makes my decision very easy. The bottom two are. Yes. Yes. Jennifer Hudson and Nikki Wyatt. Period. Period. And I have chosen before. Ladies and gentlemen. No! Kiki no. Wyatt. Are you uh, kidding me? No. Please. Are you kidding me? Well, I don't uh, know where you're going. But uh, you gotta go. I can't say that. And I, the me. Duchess, have chosen. This bitch would not be in my yeah. spotlight. Yeah. She would not to be in my spotlight. Yes. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes our show for tonight. Please make sure you get one. I got to come out.